Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my partial minimalistic makeup setup, makeup vanity, whatever, and also my makeup stash or my makeup collection. I really wouldn't call it a collection because it's not that much, but I'm going to be sharing with you guys my whole makeup vanity setup. I've been using this exact setup for about a year, which is kind of disturbing because it's been on my list of videos to film for like a year, but I'm just now getting around to it and I've been loving this setup. It's been working perfectly for me. And so I just want to share it with you guys in the event that you are looking for an affordable makeup vanity setup slash desk because it also doubles as a desk. I will have everything that I can possibly think of link down below let's go ahead and hop into the video so starting with the mirror the mirror is from TJ Maxx I got it for $39.99 and they actually sell similar mirrors at like um, Target they have one but it's like $59.99 and they have them at Home Goods which is obviously pretty similar to TJ Maxx so you can find one of these at any of those types of stores but according to my research this one that I found at TJ Maxx was the cheapest one. The vibe in our entire bedroom is similar to this. So like creams, whites, golds, navy is really the pop of color. Also there's like some silver accents and stuff like that. So that's kind of like the vibe of the room so it goes really well with the room. Also just for reference that wall color is agreeable gray which doesn't look gray right now. It looks more like beige but that's kind of the vibe that it gives. The vase is from Target. That was about $20. I actually move that around all over the house frequently and then the pompous grass which I also move around frequently because I have a large bouquet or if that's what you want to call it is from Amazon and I just have it in just various areas of the house. And my Virgo candle is from Target. I recently got that. My little perfume container thing is actually vintage and I got it at an, at an estate sale for a dollar. And so it just looks cute. So I just thought it would be fitting to have it on a makeup vanity because otherwise without that, well, I guess in the mirror, it doesn't really give out a whole lot of, it wasn't really given a lot of um, makeup vanity vibes. And I had all of these things before I actually got the chair or the stool. So anyway, Got that from an estate sale. My ring tray is from like at home or some little store like that, maybe Home Goods. It was just a few dollars and I actually put my wedding set in the ring tray. And then my mirror is actually a double-sided mirror. It came from Best Buy years and years and years ago. Backing up to the actual vanity or desk, it is from Ikea and my husband and I had stopped in Ikea one day randomly and this was li listed as new and I knew that I had to have it. Why? Because it was like $100, which was right up my alley. I had been searching for vanities for a long time because I wanted a vanity that could also function as a desk or as something else. So when I make purchases, for whatever reason, I like for the furniture pieces especially to be neutral and to be able to be moved around. Like this could be, you know, a desk for my kids room in the future or whatever like I just try to make sure that they'll have a dual purpose if at all possible. That actually has a glass top which I love and so part of the reason for my glass cup today is to just show you that you know you can freely use anything you know you, it's glass so you can easily wipe it off as opposed to not having the glass and then you run the risk of ruining the furniture especially if you have fancy furniture, expensive furniture. Obviously this is not but still <laughs> it's still something that unless I run it into the ground I am expecting it to last for several years. Now the knobs that came with the vanity slash desk were not giving at all. They were like these white, round, weirdly, oddly shaped um, knobs and they actually matched the desk perfectly. So if that's what you're going for, then by all means. But these knobs I picked up from Home Depot for about $4 each and I feel like they really just like elevate it's so much like I really wish I had the energy to go find the original knobs because I did keep those but they're actually horrible but you'll be able to see the knobs whenever you click on the link or whenever you go to Ikea or whatever and then the stool was a little tricky because I needed it to be a decent height also a certain width and I thought about using an actual chair just for like back support but then the longer that I thought about it the more I thought about the fact that there are so many chairs that I can use like even in this room I have two accent chairs with backs that are comfortable that I could pull over here if I really wanted to like really be deep into work or whatever if I really wanted to sit there for a prolonged period of time like if I'm working or doing some type of something on the computer so I decided that I would just get a stool because I could easily shove the whole entire thing under 
the desk if I wanted to. Now let's just go inside of this first drawer and I have to say before I forget they are soft clothes so that's kind of what drew me to the drawers as well because I felt like you know making drawers soft clothes actually doesn't require that much it doesn't even you don't even have to spend a whole lot but for drawers to already have the soft clothes feature I felt like that was something that I wanted to get behind so in here I have my jewelry tray which was $12.99 from at home which was quite quite a lot if you ask me for this little jewelry tray the only reason why I bought it is because I thought it kind of blended well inside of here and even better I thought if I wanted another one it could you know it could fit perfectly over here you know quite not perfectly but I would be able to have two of them or even more I could probably do four of them in here and they would kind of like blend in and match the aesthetic so that's the reason why I purchased this jewelry um, tray I don't have that much jewelry I used to here I keep cotton swabs and um, q-tips and whatnot because I do use those as I'm doing my makeup like if I get mascara on uh, some other part of my face other than my eyelashes like my eyelids as an example I can just go in with a q-tip and clean up the mess that I made this um, toothbrush is actually for purposes of like brushing the makeup like out of my hair kind of because when I do my hair around the edges makeup gets in there and that bothers me because then my hair looks kind of dusty and like crusty so I'll just use that to clean up my hair I don't know if that makes any sense I have some edge control here a setting powder I have some more gel I'm wearing press on nails currently so I have my brush on gel here I have my lighter for my candle I have some compact mirrors I have the only eyeshadow palettes that I've ever purchased one from coastal sense which probably is expired and then one from morphe and then oh I have this from elf I think this is though yeah this is like bronzer I sometimes use that um, I kind of like taking that to go on a trip because if it gets jacked up I won't care because it's from elf <laughs> um, I have tweezers my makeup um, band or I put this on my to hold my hair back whenever I'm doing my makeup if I have hair that requires that Th these are like trimmers for like your nose and whatnot <laughs> I have my favorite lip gloss right here which I have on this is lip polish and I got this at the beauty supply store I have some other lip glosses and these were sent to me from a subscriber and here's her information if you want to check out these I do use some of these also have one of the bra strap situations in here I've had this for years literally and then I have a nail file and then this that I got from my job after working there five years it's a charm that has our logo on it but they didn't give me a chain and I'm not buying one so <laughs> for which case I just have it back there it's probably expensive I wouldn't know I might buy me a chain one day the first drawer just has all of my easily easy access items lastly we have this big guy here and it has actually a lot going on it's also soft clothes so I really love that well I really love that because it's quite heavy there's a lot in here so I always pull out both of these to do my makeup and same thing applies to this I felt like I probably shouldn't have it exposed to the elements with having a dog especially and her fur being literally everywhere so I just keep it tucked in here and then I pull it out when I'm about to do my makeup which is it takes me probably 10 seconds total to take this out and put this away so I just choose to do that over having fur and other kind of random debris on my makeup diving into my collection and I'm literally just going to go in the order in which I do my makeup so I normally pull out this first and I have four different foundations and they my favorite foundation is the NYX can't stop won't stop it's a pretty penny it's like $15 that's a pretty penny to me but I was having some struggles with COVID because I was not as dark as I once was so I have three different shades honey warm honey and something else and sometimes I'll mix I'll just mix these three together to get what I need to get and then I also love this one which is the Maybelline toffee caramel 330 Maybelline fit me I will use that as well I have some brow pomade which I never use and I didn't do my eyebrows today I never really do them and then I have some LA girl pro concealers three different colors and then I have some coordinating NYX can't stop won't stop concealers and 
I just have two of them. I have a variety of these because again, my shade has been all kind of jacked up and especially it gets crazy too um, in the winter and like going from the winter shade to the summer shade and all that. So I normally do makeup and concealer first. Then I'll move down to my bottom drawer and I have the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette Medium to Dark. So I'll use this dark shade to contour this shade not that often but sometimes I'll use it and I pretty much I don't think I've ever used the highlighter but I do like taking this when I'm traveling because then I will use these items in here as opposed to using my favorite item so I have the Hoola Toasted Benefit powder that I use to bronze I have Maybelline Master Chrome Laura Geller to highlight that's my favorite one this Sephora um, blush I just mixed them both together and then I have a ColourPop um, eyeshadow that I'll put in my inner corner or somewhere if need be um, but or sometimes I'll use it as like a highlighter kind of like to highlight my brow bone if I'm doing all the extra stuff but that's my powder drawer basically and then this really isn't the order but I'll just show you the few lipsticks that I have as you can see I don't <laughs> I don't do this often because this is not really working out but I'll show you some of my lipsticks so I love ColourPop so I have some of those I love NYX I have Milani, I like the Kylie kits, they're expensive so I don't, I only really buy makeup if I have the gift card, <laughs> but um, as you can see I'm kind of like a pink red type of girl, I really like pink so I would normally just wear pink, but I like like a bold pink and it's really, I feel like I look kind of, not like a clown, <laughs> but I feel like if I wear pink and red all the time then I'll just look like It'll, it's just doing a lot so I just normally go with a, a clear gloss for the top here I have some makeup sponges I'll link these down below I got them I got a pack of like six or something for like a few dollars so I'll link those I feel like they work just as good as any others I have a lipstick here that I don't use my brow pencils if I do them are I have this elf one and then this benefit benefit I don't know this is popular but I have this one the mascara that I'm currently using is the lash paradise I was told that it was a dupe for better than sex I disagree what else do I use I have some eyelash glue I've literally never applied a set of eyelashes in my whole life but I have them I have this NYX oh I haven't used this that's a problem I have this NYX jumbo eye pencil in white then I have a Kat Von D this was a sample oh that's eyeliner that I got not a sample a birthday gift from Sephora haven't used that I have some more pomades a NYX pomade this is my Sasha buttercup powder buttercup light and so I've been using this for quite some time I'm almost finished with it I have a sample Laura Mercier translucent powder that I don't use also have I think a Kat Von D one that I don't use but I like to take one of these to go because they're little and cute and yeah that is my makeup collection okay you guys so that is my makeup vanity slash desk set up in my makeup collection I don't know if anybody has been wondering about my makeup collection or whatever because I do keep it pretty low-key as far as um, my makeup regimen I don't wear makeup a whole lot but when I do I do like to have some place to kind of sit down and get ready again this also doubles as a desk which is in our master bedroom so we can also use it as a desk and I do sometimes when I'm working from home and working from my laptop again links will be down below I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know and I will catch you guys in my next one bye guys